including New York, Chicago, and Denver, to provide lessons and teacher training in writing. The largest education events in history. The Hour of Code is quickly approaching, and I hope you choose to participate. Whether you're looking for a challenge for your students, or if they're coding for the first time, Code.org has a variety of options for you. This year, like many other places, they're featuring Star Wars. Hi, I'm Kathleen Kennedy, and I'm the producer of Star Wars The Force Awakens. If you're choosing to use Star Wars on Code.org, you have two different options. The option for younger students is to use the Blockly code that has the word and the direction and the BB-8 that will follow the coding that you have created for it. <laughs> It does provide you with immediate feedback too, so if you do make a mistake or your code isn't complete, it gives you the option to try again. They also have the JavaScript version, which is available for older students, where it's still blockly style, but it has the JavaScript written over top of the code. <laughs> And when you do get it correct, it gives you immediate feedback as well. On code.org, they do have a code studio that has many more options for you as well. They have Star Wars, which we just showed you, the Hour of Code from last year. They have Frozen, Flappy Code, Play Lab, and Artist Lab. And down below, they have courses for students to follow um, if they want more than just an hour of code. When I start with my students, we usually go to, through course one which offers a lot of unplugged activities. And unplugged activities are uh, activities that you can do in your classroom where students actually manipulate uh, papers, objects, and complete uh, sets of steps on paper instead of just online. It gives them a greater foundation too when they're coding so they understand why and how code works. And after they've done the unplugged activities, they can go online and the activities they have on online will uh, correlate with the activities they did during the unplugged activities. The lesson plans are pre-made for you, so mostly all you have to do is uh, open them, follow them, and have students go online to complete the online parts of it too. There's also a website called Monster Coding, and they have a special for Hour of Code as well. Welcome to the Mystery Island Coding Quest. Functions are blocks of code that perform tasks or actions. Functions allow us to do a main. Use the menu button to see your drag each block you want and attack. When you are done, use this button to run your code. And it does nicely walk you through the very basic steps of simple coding again with Blockly code. And the first thing you can do here is create your own monster. Congratulations! You wrote your first function and used the amazing power of coding to create your very own monster. Beyond the online content, there are also multiple apps that you can use. Uh, in the past, my students have used Scratch Junior, Hopscotch, Daisy the Dinosaur, and more recently we've used the Foos. Uh, the Foos also has a Foo Studio that's coming out. It's available in some other devices and it should be available on iPads very soon but the Foo Studio offers you uh, a more open-ended activity as far as creating games instead of just playing the games using code. I did find out a couple new apps that I've not used yet, including Box Island, another game-based app for students to use coding.
And in games like this, it typically has a simple problem for students to solve in order to uh, complete a task. There's also another app that I found called Run Marco. Same kind of scenario. It's very game based. And again, shows you the steps to follow in order to be successful with the code. There are a variety of other coding apps out there. In fact, the Tickle app here is available to program both drones and spheros, which my students also use during the Hour of Code and throughout the school year too. Because one of the important things to remember is even though they want you to have an Hour of Code, they want it to be more than just an hour. They want to give students a taste of that code, but then allow them to go way beyond that at many different levels. If you have questions about what I've shown you here, or need more options for your students to use as far as coding goes, please let me know.